Hi and welcome to this Faruno Australia Navnet TZ Touch 3 MFD training video. Today in this video we're going to look at the Navnet TZ Touch 3's welcome screen and also its day night mode and brilliant settings. So let's jump straight in. Right now on the display you can see the Navnet TZ Touch 3 welcome screen. In the top left we've got the Navnet TZ Touch 3 logo. Uh, and then moving around you can see the demo mode and further tutorial and then finally let's navigate. Each one of these modes um, it does is a different tool. So first is the demo mode which really should be only used for either demonstration purposes or in a training room type environment. The demo mode will select and play a simulation file which will simulate a radar image and a sound image and GPS etc etc. So really the demo mode should only be used in a, a training room scenario or for demonstration. Next the bottom right there we've got the tutorial. So if you'd like to go through some basic functions of the TZT3 MFD, a tutorial will take you through on a, a brief guide on, on the, the simple functions to get you started. Then finally there's Let's Navigate. And Let's Navigate will use your live sensors, so your GPS, your radar, your sounder, etc. Uh, that are on board the vessel with you. Generally, you would always use Let's Navigate um, on board a vessel. You don't tend to want to use a demo mode um, because you would, you know, you, you get messed up with sensors and that sort of thing. So I would always recommend to use Let's Navigate. Finally, if you don't want to display this screen when the MFD starts up, we have an option down on the bottom left of the display that has a show at startup tick box. If you simply tap on that tick box and get rid of the tick, uh, this welcome screen will no longer display. So moving on, the demo mode is what I'll use today because it is uh, in a training room type environment. So I'll just click on start for demo mode. But again, generally you would use Let's Navigate. And here we are. So on this screen, we've got a, a triple view uh, with a chart plotter, a fish finder, and a DFF 3D uh, 3D image scrolling through. What we're going to focus on though is the Power Brilliant settings. So to bring up the Power Brilliant settings uh, and your day night mode settings rather, you tap on the power key. So if I tap on this once, you'll see the menu pops up. And the power key is on the bottom right of the displays generally. So the quick access menu, uh, quickly, it gives you access to transmitting and stand, putting things in standby. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to transmit and stand by the radar, I can tap on the radar icon. And when it's lit up in gold, it means that it is transmitting. When it is blue, it is either off or in standby. But our main focus is the day-night settings. So the second section down, you can see the sun icon, uh, the sun setting icon, and the moon and stars icon. There are three day-night setting modes. So you've got daylight, dusk, and nighttime modes. What they do is they will adjust the brilliance slightly, but the main function is they adjust the colors in the background. So an example is at the moment we're in day mode. So you can see the sounder and the DFF 3D and the chart plotter all have very white and bright backgrounds to see in sunlight. If I was going out at night mode, I can tap on night. The unit will configure the day night mode where it will change the colors in the background and it will change the colors of one, the chart plotter. So I close that menu. The chart plotter is, you know, the black on the background. Uh, the colours are much more subtle for nighttime use to not, you know, interfere with your night night vision. But then also you can see the echo sounder has now gone to a dark blue, and the DFF 3D is in a black background. Also, the radar will, if you've set a different colour for day and night, uh, the radar will also be be black or white depending on your settings. You can adjust those colour settings in the menus. Um, we won't do that right now, but you, you can adjust if you want it to be dark blue or black at night time and white during the day, etc. So back to the power brilliance. If you just want to adjust the brilliance, so you want to keep everything the same color, but you just want the, the actual brightness of the light, the backlight to go down, then we simply use the brilliance slider bar. And I just tap on it and hold my finger down and swipe, and the brightness will go down and up may not be going down on the video but it is on, on my display so down and back up again a quick trick on that if you do get on a vessel in the morning and it's been previously used at night time and someone has left it you know down dark and you can't quite see it a trick is just to continually tap the power key 
one way to know that it has been left, uh, the brilliance has been left low, um, is to, once, once you start the unit up, you will see the loading screens will come up in the bright colors and the brightness. Um, but then once the unit finally starts up, it'll flick into a, a darker mode. To get around that, simply just tap on the power key and you'll see that the brilliance will adjust every time you tap that power key. Once you get up to a level where you can see it, you can then swipe up. While we're in this power brilliance menu, we can also see that there is a, a touch, or touch screen option with a padlock next to it. If I tap on that, that means that the touch screen is now locked. So if it is adverse conditions where it's very, very wet, uh, if you don't want the display to change for any reason, you want to keep it on a, a chart plotter for instance and, and no zoom or anything changes, you can tap on the power key and come into the lock touch screen. And that means that the touch is completely disabled. So I will not be able to move anything around or do anything with it. Again, if you tap power on a unit and you find that the touch screen is, is not operating, a quick check is you can tap on the power key and make sure that this touch screen with the padlock on it is not lit up in gold. If it's lit up in gold, it means the touch screen is locked. If I make it so it's blue, it is no longer locked and I can use it. And then finally at the bottom, we can see where we turn off the unit by hitting the device or turn off all the units by hitting network. So. That concludes this video on the welcome screen and the power brilliance uh, the day night options uh, if you have any questions or comments please do not hesitate to contact for australia support uh, we're happy to help anytime thanks for watching